Good morning. Today is Monday. I'm just getting done here with the morning rituals for Monday. Um, after that, I do want to have a conversation about confidence. I have a couple stories dating back to, I want to say, three, four years ago, maybe even eight years ago. Um, there's a lot of a relation going between on what was my inspiration and what was holding me down. And a lot of the things that were holding me down was other people's perception of my own confidence. So I let myself degrade uh, to favor other people. And essentially that's something that you have to gain your own power on. Staying true to yourself, setting goals that can truly be accomplished. The feeling of self-accomplishment raises your vibration. The goal that has no eyes but yours. That is my definition of confidence. Showing up for yourself. A short story I would like to share to begin. We must understand your perception of anyone does not define you. And that was my flaw. The term people pleaser. My focus in making others happy degraded myself. To be clear, this is a scenario which is very small and insignificant. I don't give power to any type of ridicule or negative energy. The scenario dating back four to five years. Walking into a room with family or supposed family. My spouse and I were present. Out of the blue, this individual starts comparing me to another family member. The word comparison. Key word, a degraded soul who does not know how to implement their own feeling. Now back to the story. He began comparing me to another person and he looks at me and says, why do you have an octopus tattooed on your arm? And I felt the hate and I continued to laugh. Little did I know I was being belittled and I was accepting it and that was my fault. But then it clicked. I must take ownership, and it is true, you must be a monster. To let no one depreciate or undervalue you, you have the power. Always much love, the real George of the Jungle. <laughs>